Hello guys, we're going to be doing a live reaction on Love in Paradise 90 Day Fiance. So this is how I'm going to be doing the videos. Please note and don't forget that this is not for happily ever after. So please don't unsubscribe <laughs> because of this video. It's just easier for me. I honestly can do three well edited videos in one week. So this is what we're going to be doing and stuff. So if you like this, then you're free to come around and hang out in this little corner. So let's get started. I never dated an exotic man from another country exotic before. Man. And so I get to live out my Italian romance dream. You know, the ones you see in the movies. Yeah, those two in the movie. <laughs> I fall in love with a weirdo. <laughs> Yes, you did. We got our issues. What type of issues? He wants us having a night with like different women. What? That's a threesome. What's important? You guys should have gone to a different show. There's this other show called From Couple to Trouble. I haven't watched it yet, but someone made a video about it and I watched it and I was like, oh, this sounds pretty interesting. So maybe you guys should have gone to that. I am Madeleine. I have 19 years old and I live in Medellin, Colombia. My fiance, Luke and me, been together for one year. When I first met Luke, he come here for vacation. I see him one. Okay, so here we have Luke from Los Angeles. He is 30 years old. And then we have his girlfriend, Madeleine, or Madeline, 19 from Colombia. 19 and he's 30. I, I honestly do have an issue with it. I do have an issue with it. And we're going to start to see a lot of our struggles with this couple. We're going to see a lot of issues with this couple, with this couple in specific, because I bet you guys that this girl right here is just starting that time of her life where she wants to endure herself, where she wants to do things that she hasn't done in the past. And he is not going to want her to. Why? Because he has already experienced that. He has already been through that. But you know who hasn't? Madeline. He made me feel things I never feel. Because you're 19. He have a bunch of money. So of course. he spoils me. I love them so much. Oh my God. I got the, I got the, I got the juice. <laughs> <laughs> I have my boobies done, I have my dog, I have my money. They but she doesn't have him. One thing I need is look. I really need look move here as soon as possible. I'm Luke, I'm 30 years old, and I'm from Los Angeles, California. I'm a mining engineer by trade, but my mining real passion engineer. is business. Business, I know first impressions mean everything. Yes, they do, and you're giving us a very I bad one. To be... He's giving new money. I need a flash. How much money i have i need to show you how much money i have because it's not enough for me to just have a happy day i need to flash it so you know that you're madeleine is one pretty. of the most empathetic loving and driven people i have ever met and that's what made me fall in love with her so and that she's 19. about six months ago i proposed i wanted to move to colombia and i wanted to be with her forever and ever <laughs> But I still haven't moved to Colombia because my financial situation has taken a dramatic turn. Ooh, a dramatic turn was... And oh, come on, a DLC? Seriously? I don't need to see his ass. I don't need to see his ass. So I was actually able to record this part before DLC had to scrape the entire footage and take the video down. If you guys didn't notice, if you went to watch Love in Paradise on Discovery on tuesday the video was gone and you couldn't watch the episode and then i don't think it came back up until either wednesday night or thursday morning because they actually flash this guy's um penis and you know they had to take everything down it made it to twitter people were retweeting it people were liking it commenting on it you know make, making comments about him so when i noticed 
the you know the booty cheeks and that's all i noticed i didn't notice the rest of the stuff until people started talking about it so i had to actually remove it and make it seem that like it's not there because you know i'll get flack for that when i tell her that i can't pay for the lifestyle that we're used to she'll leave me but that's the thing boy that is the thing when you have a sugar baby because that's what it is okay you want to call it something else whatever i know that she's benefiting of what he's giving her like i understand that she is setting herself you know to be in a good financial situation marrying this man but he's sturdy okay and she is in love with you so far as we are seeing viewers because of what you provide to her because of what you give to her and the moment that you are not able to provide those things to her she's gonna dump you my name is Annie. I'm 39 Annie. years old. I'm originally from Berlin, Germany, and I'm living in Malta right now. Oh, she has a kid. She has a kid. Every time I see someone come in the 90 day fiance world with kids, I do get a little concerned. I'm not going to lie because you are introducing people that are from different backgrounds. And not only that, but you're also introducing a camera crew into your child's life. I am actually a very private person when it comes to my kids. I don't like to put them on social media. I don't like to show them off like on social media. I'm very selective as who has that type of access to my children. So when I do see people just give full range of like, you know, posting their kids on social media all the time, I don't really enjoy it. Recently, I started to panic because I realized I wanted a second baby. I always hope that the right person would just one day stand in front of me where it feels immediately right. There was something very special about how he made me feel. We can just talk for hours and we can laugh. The fun little fact, um, and me and my I now husband were dating, one of the main reasons why I decided to be with him or why like my heart was beating was because we would talk for hours like hours non-stop over the phone and we would just talk all the time and i could talk to him for hours and i never run out of things to talk about it's still to this day that okay but that's pretty cool and getting women pregnant okay and A most hobby. of my globe trotting has been helping single women and lesbian couples grow their families Thank you for that. I take a lot of supplements because they help my sperm count be like really high. I avoid heavy drinking, smoking. At least you know you're, what well, you're getting with him. You know, he's keeping a healthy life. He doesn't drink, he doesn't smoke. He takes his vitamins all the time and he travels a lot. He has a career. He's not the best good looking person, but he's not bad. But I'm gonna be taking these pills right now so I can get my super sperm. I got some vitamin B12, vitamin D. When I was 22, <laughs> I knew a lesbian couple and they were discussing going to a sperm bank, but it was really expensive. So I- Oh, so wait, does he like post himself on social media apps and then, you know, they contact him and it happens? Through word of mouth and through word my social media, yep. women found out about me and now I donate around three to five times a month. <sighs> Hey, three to five times a month. I wonder how much money this man is getting paid for that. Drink 71 water. children and another nine on the way. They're all around the world. Wait, 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 I, wait, wait. Okay, this I do find creepy. Why are you keeping track of everything? Like, you're just a sperm donor. You're not the father. You're a sperm donor. I get no money from this. I cover my own travel. No money. I have my own cost, but I get to see the smiles on their faces when they have a child. That's literally all I'm getting out of it is joy and happiness. I, okay, I don't really know how to feel about this anymore. I, I lost my words, honestly, because I have this feeling that like, you know, he's getting paid, but he's also trying to keep track of like how many times he's done it, who he has impregnated, how many kids he has out there. But now he's saying that he's not getting paid for it. He's not getting paid for it. He literally does it because he enjoys seeing the smile in their faces. What do you guys think? Families having a child, I have had to sacrifice some of my own happiness. I started donating about 10 years ago. And the first year, I think I went on a date with one woman. And then last year, I went on a date with one woman as well. And that's literally been it. Originally, Annie reached out to discuss sperm donation because she was thinking about having another child. So one of the things 
that he has sacrificed is the fact that he is not able to really create relationships with a woman because they are not okay with donating sperm. They, they are not okay with that. And I could see why they will have an issue with it. You know, you actually, you, you have to find someone that's going to align with what it is that you're doing. I'm excited because I'm going to Molten Nuts Week to see Annie for the first time. But first I made a pit stop in London to help a woman have a baby. When he says help a woman have a baby, I am wondering if he's actually having sex with them. Because right now he's, you know, touching the bed, checking it out. And I'm not going to press play <laughs> just yet. Because I'm just guessing that he's probably having sex with them. And if that is the case, I could see why a lot of women that he has dated are not okay with this. Because I wouldn't be okay with it. The woman can choose how they uh, receive my donation. No. But I also have the natural way, which has a higher success rate, where we just have sex. No, no, no. I could see why women are having an issue. I will have an issue with that too. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys want your future husband donating sperm and having sex with other women? I understand that some people may think this is bizarre what I do, but I'm helping a lot of families grow and giving this gift to people feeds my soul. I don't think what he does is bizarre. I think the way he's going about it is bizarre. You know, having sex with a woman, that's bizarre. Keeping track of how many kids you got out there, that's bizarre. You shouldn't have... You shouldn't know that you're a sperm donor. That's all you are. You're not the father, you know? Obviously, Annie knows that I donate sperm. <laughs> but I'm worried once we meet in person, she may have questions and she may be a little bit less comfortable with my hobby. See, like, he looks like... He looks like such a douche on, on that post. Like, I'm having such a hard time, like, as, as, as a person, just like... But about a month ago, I was let go because Ooh. I was taking too much time off work. That is a big problem, especially because it looks like this man has still not adjust his way of living after he got fired. So what's next? Uh, really good question. I'm a little worried. Mm. How bad is it? How bad is your financial situation? I'll be honest with you, man, it's super bad. Like, I, 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 I don't have any money. Um, Madeline's gonna dump him. As I'm leaving this job, I'm pulling my 401k. All of it. You liquidated all it all. Liquidated. That's a big deal. Pulling your 401k because you lost your job. So what I'm getting from this is that at no point in your life do you choose, do you decide you have an emergency savings account? Because how are you telling me that you literally just lost your job and you ran out of money to the point that you pulled out your 401k? And you have money. Oh, you had money. Because... You know, I get it when some people don't have their savings account, like, you know, some of us don't have that amount of money, but you do. So what's your excuse? What's your excuse? I've invested over $500,000 into startup businesses. I have invested in a jewelry company. I've developed a lifestyle brand and travel agency, and I'm trying to get a clothing line off the ground as well. You should stop with the clothing line. You, you should definitely stop with the clothing line. I have not turned a profit yet. The only thing that was keeping me afloat was my salary. Now, oh I don't God. have any savings. Sorry, but this, this man is dumb. This man is dead. I've dug a hole. Since meeting Madeleine, I have spent almost $100,000 sending money to her. I'm not happy with the amount of money. I know it's easy to say, uh, me as like, you know, I'm not in his situation, but if you see that you're falling down to the ground because of your finance, the first thing you do is downsize so you don't have those issues. And has this man thought about downsizing? No, he has this much. Well, I mean, financially, to date, she is 19. She's 19. What do you want her to do? Tell me what you want her to do. Uh, well, let me ask you this. Yeah. If if you didn't front any money, do you think it'd be the same type of relationship, the same love? Uh, no, it wouldn't. It wouldn't. But she sounds kind of like a like a leech. Call a sugar baby. That's what it's called. Not a leech. A sugar baby. He's spending all of his money, all of his savings, all of his retirement. He's he lost his job due to time management because he was focusing it all on her. I think Luke is. She didn't ask him to. And I'm still trying to figure out what he gets in return. Let me tell you what he gets in return, okay? Because your friend knows this pretty well. Your friend gets in return a hot, sexy, young Colombian 
women to sleep with. And that's what he gets. And he's happy with that. So happy that he has put himself in a very bad financial situation to the point that he has pulled his phone away. That's what he gets. And I am sorry if I'm getting so frustrated about the situation, but get so mad when people like this think that they are doing such a high favor to you. Like she does not know about the job situation. You haven't told her. Mm -mm. So the backbone of the relationship is what? My love for her. Oh my goodness. And that's not gonna be enough for her. That's not gonna be enough for her, let's be honest. I'm worried that she might think that this relationship is too difficult to deal with, that she might move on to somebody else. I look, you have put yourself in a horrible situation because you have provided for this girl so much financially, financially. And you probably love her. I don't I don't doubt that you love her, but she doesn't love you. Okay? She she doesn't. She is happy with what you're giving. This is a transactional. You give her money, she gives you sex. I was looking for Pam Tonar, and I never thought that we are going to have a relationship. Never. I'm completely fine with Kai's past, but if we have a future together, a lot of things have to change. Here we go. Yes, she is okay with his past. She is sharing with us that she is okay with his past. She is okay with the fact that he is from donor that he has done this you know as a hobby but she also says that there's a lot of things that need to change in order for them to proceed to have a uh, you know a real relationship a serious relationship and is he going to make those changes based on the previews he is not or at least he has to sacrifice the natural insemination because yes. i would never accept him having sex with other women while we are in a relationship yeah, like that that's a given. That's that's literally the bare minimum for you to stop having sex with other women. It's a serious relationship. Like I don't care if you see it as a hobby, a job, no. Oh my god, this is so crazy. I just said love. Oh my god. Kinda kinda make me blush a little bit. <laughs> I love when people meet each other for the first time. Or when it's been a long time without seeing each other and just like yay it's time to see each other but what is he wearing what is he wearing boy you haven't seen her in a while and you're wearing shorts like ugly shorts like workout shorts and then an ugly shirt you could have tried a little harder you could have tried her that was so good <laughs> yeah, I, yeah i could just eat you up right now I, it's I a think little she's awkward a sexier in person <laughs> that she did online for sure oh really like, yeah yeah what? for sure way sexier Kyle has the cutest brown eyes. I love your eyes. Oh, you're crying. Oh, Kyle is so emotional. I mean, I just saw her for the first time. Oh. So it's a, yeah, it's a dream come true. You're trying to get me in the mood already on the first day. We got to take it slow. Oh my god, I'm You got to wait two or three days for a kiss. Oh and, and, then, and then everything else, days. you have to wait more. We are definitely doing a point system. No, there's no point system. And I really want him to explain this point system because I want to understand what he's talking about. Well, point system, come on, man. Like, this is not your insemination process. And he can earn or lose points by doing good and bad things. She's not a child. She is not a child. Kyles, you lost so many points with me, dude. Do you lose points for coming over here dressed like you're about to go work out? Do you? Do you lose points for being a total jerk and telling her that she's going to lose points if she drinks a glass of wine? I need a glass of wine after listening to your points. So now Kyle is going to explain to me and to all of you how she can get hit points and what those points are going to do. So let's let's have him explain. Tell us, Kyle. Tell us. We'll see how it goes. You have, to, you have to earn it. All right. With three points, she gets a kiss. With five points, she gets a tongue kiss. And with 10 points, she gets full on sex. And I think that's a good plan. And keep in mind that she can lose points by drinking a glass of Yeah. <laughs> I can't. Three points, five points, and 10 points. I just don't wanna jump in the bed with Annie because that's what I do with the woman for sperm donation. It's much more clinical, where with Annie, I want to build our emotional connection first before getting physical, and by having this point system... It makes 
sense why Kyle wants to create this connection with her before they get intimate. You know, this is what he does as a hobby and stuff. He does this all the time. However, you don't come up to someone and tell them that they are on a point system that's going to allow them or not allow them to be intimate with you. Like, I feel like that's just something that you built, something that you cherish. And the fact that you already came over here giving her rules on this point system, like she's a toddler, is ridiculous. It's extremely ridiculous. I think the problem is you never had a really stable relationship, so you don't know what you're talking about right I, now. I definitely know what I'm talking no, about. No, I think if you no, would have ever no, proper he doesn't. He, he literally said about the two girls that he tried to talk to, you know, he didn't really have a good luck because they were not okay with what he's doing. So no, you you have not. You you have not been in a serious relationship to the point that you don't have a point system. To the point, point, point. <laughs> they do have butterflies for him. But his lack of experience is so obvious. Hope he can learn fast. If not, this is going to be the longest two weeks ever of my life. Yeah, she even sees her, she even sees to herself that the connection is there is getting stronger. Um, but he doesn't have that experience of being in an actual serious relationship, you know, a committed relationship. And I, I wonder how Anika is going to take it. Editing Karen here. Just wanted to jump really quick and let you guys know that the audio for the part of um, Sean and Aaliyah got incredibly messed up. So I just took it off completely. I'll cover the relationship more in depth on the next episode because nothing really happened with them. We didn't really get much of their story. Um, so, yeah. And also, I did see all the stuff that came out about Kyle. I actually found the video a couple of days ago and started watching it. So I still need to go ahead and watch the videos that the girl made where she's making all the claims about him being a uh, abuser um, and also having something genetic that he's passing down to the children that he is conceiving. So yes, I do know about that, but I found out I, even after I made this video and I even saw that Poe also cover it so i also need to watch some of that to listen to everything because i want to get i want to go ahead and get all the videos and watch them all together and know what it is that this guy is doing so yeah i am aware of it i just I'm not gonna cover it right now but yeah that's gonna be it for today guys thank you so much for watching this video let me know what you guys think about this style that i'm doing and um for love in paradise and if you guys don't like it please let me know if you do also let me know i can take that feedback and simply not do this again or just do something different but let me know what you guys think and don't forget to like comment and subscribe as always and i'll see you guys on the next 90 day fiance video bye